Um, Nike Mary asks, what's your opinion on remakes of old games? If it's done well, excellent. Like, I'd like to see more remakes of Rabbiteer, or remakes of Morath's World, or remakes of, like, actual remake of Heretic. Oh, but that would be so hard. They wouldn't do it right. See, they're tempted to put in all these special engine things. But make it really Heretic. Not Heretic 2. Heretic 2 was its own game, and it was fun. But it wasn't Heretic. One crystal. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> um, I've already answered that one. Uh, Wacko Sandro asks, if you're riding on a boat and a wheel falls off, there's only one wheel I know of, how many paddles are left in your car? Okay. So my theory is the riding on the boat and a wheel falls off Oh, actually, okay. Mm. I bet you. So this is okay. This is complicated. Okay, I bet you there are boats where car is a section of the boat, like a hull. I don't know what it would be specifically, but other than that, I don't see how the if you're riding on a boat and a wheel falls off, how that relates to how many pedals are left in your car. Let's move over to the car. I'm going to consider its own thing. How many pedals are left on your car? Now, pedals, there's th two, three, or four, generally, pedals in a car. But you did not say pedal, you said paddle. And there is one set of cars that have paddles that I know of, other than the ones that you can have in your back seat. Not all cars, not all manual cars, have a regular gear shifter. Some cars have, I guess they're called flappy paddles, or I forget what they're called. It's a little paddle thing right next to your steering wheel that you use, I think, your thumb to shift your gears, so you don't have to go all the way down here to keep shifting your gear. Um, and so I think that would be technically one paddle on that kind of car. So there's your answer. How many paddles are left on your car? Depends on what car you have. Probably zero. What do you think? <laughs> Is there any other place that there's paddles? Not that I can think of. Not near the wheel, not near the transmission, not near the exhaust, not near the engine, not near the radiator, not near, not in the car, not in the coolant system, not in the electric system, not in the lighting system, not in the seats, not in the trunk, not in the hood. No, I can't think of any other place that there'd be a paddle. Yeah. Okay, um, Almighty Elemental, they are releasing a Wii-exclusive game called Epic Mickey. It's a steampunk mature take, I don't know what that means, on the Disney universe. What is your take on this? I don't know what that is. And what do you want, not want, to see in this game? Well, if it's Wii-exclusive, well, I don't even know what genre it is. I don't want to see porn, I don't like cartoon porn. <laughs> That's one thing. Um, I don't want them to try to sexualize cartoons too much. I mean, there's ways that you can do it and not make it too awkward, but generally it doesn't work. Um, other than that, not knowing the genre, I don't know What it would be that, um... Oh, I don't want it to be, like... Shifting the kitty game into the cool field, but end up failing at it. Like, oh god, what was it? I think they were actually called the Cool Kids or something like that. It was like Burger King or something. Had their own little m movies or movie or movie or something. Where they had, like, seven different kids, and they all had these weird glasses on. It was really 80s sort of thing. I don't even remember all of it, or 90s. And um, I tried to act really cool and whatnot, but it was one of those things that they're trying too hard to be cool. And it just didn't work out. It just seemed really lame. So I've kind of hoped that they don't end up doing that with this epic Mickey thing. S. Stage Maddie says, You're in a zombie apocalypse. What do you do? Where do you go? And how do you survive? I think I answered that. I don't have much of a 
answer for that. I don't know why people are so obsessed about zombies, but whatever. Risk Shocker says, can you make a special video about with the best moments of 2009? Yes, I can. Risk Shocker says, do I play online? Sometimes I do. Risk Shocker says, if you could create your own game, how would it look like? Not what would it look like, how would it look like? It would look like Ambrosia Tastes. Oh, no. Um, once again, I don't think that graphics are all that. Um, I kind of answered questions that aren't graphically inclined above. Or, previous video. Um, let me move on. Uh, per Pure Poison 123 asks, Have you ever thought of doing an actual multiplayer LP? I have done multiplayer LPs with other people. Already. Mm -hmm. uh, um, Pure Boys 123 says, Are you a Half Life fan? Yes. Or have I never played the game? I have played it. Or did you just. Or did you just thought it sucked? Think? Did you just think? Did you just thought it sucked? Did I think any of them sucked? Counter Strike. Counter Strike sucked. Other than that, pretty good. Um, Vader Gaming says, Have I ever regretted doing a Let's Play on a game? As in, you ever got just bored halfway through an LP? Um, well, of course, there's Lords of the Ring Conquest. There's Empire Total War. But both of those gave me an opportunity to rip them a new one and insult a whole bunch of my viewership, and it was a beautiful thing. <laughs> So, it doesn't have to be a good game for me to regret playing it. But there are a couple of games, two in fact, that were really bad. Luckily, they weren't popular. But then that doesn't give me a whole bunch of people to laugh at. They were really bad games, and looking back on it, I kind of feel as though I would have wanted that much time back or to play on other games. Those two games are The Last Remnant, and Stormrise. Last Remnant wasn't too bad. Stormrise was really bad. Stormrise is my worst LP. I mean, worst game that I've ever LP'd. Which is amazing. Everybody thought, hey, that'd be Empire Total War. No, Empire Total War is the one that everybody wanted me to keep playing that was a bad game. <laughs> Vader Gaming asks... Oh, no. Uh, Jacob, please, asks, which is more important for, to you? Gameplay or storyline? That would be gameplay. I don't even consider storyline as something to rate a game on. Storyline's nice, so is graphics. But those aren't things that make a game a better game. They're things that make a story, more an interesting story, or a piece of art, better art. Um, since I have forgot to freeze all the questions, I better check to see if I have received any comments since I started on my videos. No, I have not. All right, there we go, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And this is going to be quite a bit of footage. Talk to you guys another time. Bye.